All right, dear students, I hope you are doing well. The topic for today is inventory valuation, and we are done with the first in, first out method of inventory valuation. And today we are going to discuss the last in, first out inventory valuation. Although the last in, first out inventory valuation is not applicable for O and uh, sorry A, A level accounting students uh, because it has been disallowed by IAS International Accounting Standard. Okay, so for uh, our purpose, A level exam purpose, only two methods are being tested for inventory valuation. One is first in, first out, and last is, uh, and then is AFCO method, average cost method. Uh, but in the Pearson qualification at Excel accounting, uh, last in, first out is being tested and not the average cost method. So today we are discussing last in, first out. Okay, what does LIFO means last in, first out? Not but in inventory valuation, what we have to do, we have to value the goods that we have sold. Uh, that is cost of sale or cost of issue. And secondly, we have to find the value of the inventory that is still left with us. That is closing inventory. Now, there are two basic assumptions for that. One is first in, first out. First in, first out means uh, that we would assume the inventory we are selling right now. Uh, is the inventory that we have bought uh, earliest okay so inventory that have came in the inventory uh, in our stock in our warehouse the earliest is the inventory that is uh, actually going to leave the warehouse no matter whether uh, the physical flow of goods is also first in first out or not but for accounting purposes we assume that we are selling inventory that we have bought first so let us uh, see in this example uh, we had opening inventory 500 liters and then we purchased 700 more and then we have sold 1000 liter so whenever we are selling 1000 liter we are selling uh, on what date on 7th okay so basically we have two options uh, one is uh, first selling this and secondly selling this so if we are assuming a first in first out inventory valuation method we would assume that we would first sell these 500 liters and actually we have to sell thousands so the remaining fine weight would be sold from this stock that is second lot okay this is first in first out and what about the last in first out and last in first out we would assume that first of all we are going to sell these 700 liters and the remaining 300 liters would be sold from uh, this stock that is opening inventory so let us see how does this actually works we have an example 14.1 and we are solving it by LIFO method and perpetual. So what is perpetual means beta perpetual means continuous. So we are going to maintain detailed accounting records and whenever we buy or sell the inventory, we are going to actually record the moment of inventory. This is perpetual. Perpetual is continuous and it is more accurate. So we are going to solve perpetual in the examination. So uh, we have to do first some rough working. Uh, in rough working what I'm going to do I'm going to list down all of the inventories that we have uh, on the first as you can see uh, I have uh, bought 500 liters at the rate of 50 so I'm just making a list of all of the purchases and as well as the opening inventory first of all I have this inventory and what other inventory we have bought we have bought 700 further liters at the rate of what at the rate of 55 and then after that what we are what we have done we have bought another 400 liters for at the rate of 60 dollar and finally the last inventory that we have bought this month was 1500 liters at the rate of 65 now as you can see the prices are increasing day by day from 50 now they are 65 dollar so we have these four lots okay in the entire month as well as opening inventory now let's see whichever is the first sales sales or issue it is on 7th okay so whenever i enter uh, the warehouse on 7th of january basically i have only two options i have these two options on 7th of january i have the inventory of uh, opening inventory that was actually bought a uh, previous month okay last year closing would be opening for this uh, month and i have bought further inventory on 3rd january 700 liters now if i am following last in first out I would assume that I am actually selling this. I am actually selling this 700 first. So this 700 liters actually cost the business how much? 55 dollar. 
सो बेसिकली माई रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू सेल हाउ मेनी लीटर थाउजेंड लीटर एंड आउट ऑफ दैट सेवन हंड्रेड लीटर वुड बी टेकन फ्रॉम दिस एंड द रिमेनिंग थ्री हंड्रेड लीटर थाउजेंड माइनस सेवन हंड्रेड वुड बी सोल्ड दीज यूनिट वुड बी सोल्ड सो इफ आई सेल थ्री हंड्रेड फ्रॉम दिस दीज फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर्स आई एम लेफ्ट विद हाउ मच इन्वेंट्री टू हंड्रेड लीटर्स आई एम जस्ट डूइंग रफ वर्किंग to see how much inventory is left over okay so i have actually sold these 300 further liters at the rate uh, although i have sold it for more than that but i am not yet worried about the selling price i am just worried about the cost price so if i add these two inventory values this is 53500 and if i add these 700 plus 300 it would be 1000 liter okay so basically 1000 liters that i have sold actually cost me 53500 Now let's see what other inventory I have to sell this month. Ah, uh, this month, but I have to sell further six hundred liters at the rate what? At the rate of seventy nine dollars. So whatever is the selling price right now, uh, my concern is not the selling price, but actually cost price. So if I am ah uh, on thirtieth of January, basically I have all these three options. I have opening inventory balance that is two hundred liters. I have also bought four hundred liters, and I have also bought. Fifteen hundred liters. So, how much is the requirement? Requirement is only six hundred liters. So, but basically, but if it's last in first out, I would assume that I am selling this inventory first. Okay. I uh, actually I have uh, mixed all of the inventory, but for accounting purpose, I have to tell the computer or the accountant. So, basically, these six hundred uh, liters would be sold from which inventory? From these uh, last inventory that I bought from these fifteen hundred. So if I sell six hundred from the fifteen hundred, what will be the balance left? Balance is only left nine hundred liters. Okay, nine hundred liters at the rate of sixty five. So six hundred liters I have actually sold, and the cost was how much? Sixty five dollar. If I multiply it, so this is the cost of sales. If I add up uh, both of these, the cost of issues, the total cost of issue or to total cost of sale this month that includes both of the sales were. Ninety-two thousand five hundred. Ninety-two thousand five hundred. Now we need to after uh, we have done finding the cost of issue or cost of sale, but as the second requirement is we need to find the closing inventory. Now let's see closing inventory. We have already done the rough working. Okay, so basically we had these four lots. Okay, so we have sold uh, all of these seven hundred liters that actually cost us fifty-five. And uh, uh, what about these 500 liters? We have sold 300 liters from that as well, and we are just left with 200 liters at the rate 50 dollar. Now the first inventory that I have left over is uh, 200 liters from actually 500 liters that I bought, and these 400 liters are as it is. They haven't yet been sold, as you can see. Uh, 60 dollar inventory. These would be as it is 400 liters at the rate of 60. I am calculating this value of closing inventory. And finally, beta, uh, these fifteen hundred liters out of these fifteen hundred liters, I have sold six hundred liters. And how many liters are left over, beta? Nine hundred liters are left over at the rate of what? Sixty-five. So what I need to do finally, I need to add up all of these. So this would be the value of closing inventory. And how many liters are there? We can also add up uh, the liters. Nine uh, hundred plus four hundred plus two hundred. It will be total fifteen hundred liters. Yes, the total was fifteen hundred liters closing inventory, and this is the value of closing inventory. So, beta, we have found out cost of sale, also known as cost of issues. We have found out closing inventory using last in first out, and finally, we need to find gross profit. And how to calculate gross profit, beta? The formula for calculating gross profit is simple. You just need to make a trading account. So, what is a trading account? Trading account is partial income statement. an income statement that is only till uh, gross profit okay first of all i need sales then i need cost of sales and how to find that although i have already found out the cost of sales but uh, still we can find out cost of sale from the other way as well uh, it would be opening add purchases less closing and then cost of sale and if we did a cost of sale from the revenue figure i am left with what gross profit Now let's see what about the sales beta. Do we have sales revenue here in this question? We can find the sales, and how is that so? Ah, uh, we just need to multiply the units sold multiplied by selling price. So we have sold thousand liter at the rate seventy eight thousand multiplied by seventy eight. It would be seventy eight thousand. 
and we have sold 600 liters at the rate 79 600 into 79 it would be 47 400 plus 78000 so if i add up both of these uh, i would get the revenue figure for this month okay revenues there and uh, then we have an opening inventory but how much opening inventory do we had we have 500 liters at the rate 50 so 500 multiplied by 50 it would be 25000 okay so then i have purchases actually i have bought three goods uh, 700 at the rate 55 okay i need to add up all of these 700 times 55 it would be 38500 so let's just write it somewhere 700 into 500 it would be how much uh, it was 38500 let's write the here 700 into 58 50, it, it, it was 38500 and then beta i bought 400 liters at the rate 60 400 times 60 it was 24000 these are the purchases and lastly i bought 1500 liters at the rate 65 1500 at the rate 65 was 97500 okay so if i add up all of these i would get the purchase for the month 38500 24000 and 97500 it was 160000 okay so this is the purchase for the month 160000 sterling and finally beta we have closing inventory we have already found out closing inventory what is closing inventory this is 92500 okay we have found it using last in first out opening at purchase less closing would be cost of sale and as you can see we have already found out cost of issue and cost of sale and what is that what figure is it it is 92500 okay so in this question by coincidence the closing inventory and cost of sale is the same so it's not necessary that closing inventory and cost of sales are the same okay so if we uh, deduct cost of sale from the revenue figure i would get gross profit and this is beta how we calculate closing inventory and cost of issue when we are using last in first out method to value inventory